Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible. Man, that's so exciting. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing that with you. And today we're looking at Genesis chapter 7. Do you ever wonder what it would have been like to experience the flood in the days of Noah? You had better hope you were part of Noah's family. <laughs> wow, this is deep stuff. Now, Genesis chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, describes the horrifying judgment that was the worldwide flood. Quote, all flesh that moved on the earth perished. Birds and cattle and beasts and every swarming thing that swarms upon the earth and all mankind and of all that was on the dry land, all in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life died. Thus, he blotted out every living thing that was upon the face of the land, from man to animals to creeping things to birds of the sky, and they were blotted out from the earth. And only Noah was left together with those that were with him in the ark. Whew. I feel like we need to take a moment of silence after reading a passage like this. This is the judgment of God upon sin. I believe that this was a real historic event. I do. The judgment of God upon humanity's rebellion against his rightful rule. Now, the reason I hold this conviction is because of Jesus' words. Jesus referenced Noah and the flood as a historical reality. And Jesus used it to describe his second coming. Listen to Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 to 39, and hear the parallel that Jesus is making between this Old Testament historical account and his second coming. For the coming of the Son of Man will be just like the days of Noah. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark. And they did not understand until the flood came and took them all away. So will the coming of the Son of Man be. Man, have you ever wondered what it would be like to have been living at the time of the flood? Can you imagine what it's like to be alive today? before the second coming of Jesus Christ. Wow. Jesus not only references and makes this connection, Jesus was there because Jesus is the sovereign God. And the reason Jesus came from heaven to earth was to create an ark to save you, to save me. Because God doesn't want to see anyone perish. He wants all to be saved. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day that through faith in Jesus Christ, you can get in the ark of salvation before the second coming of Jesus Christ. We are in the days of Noah once again. And Jesus' return is imminent. Seize the moment. Seize the moment and get in the ark of faith. You don't have to face a worldwide flood to know that you're in need of a Savior. Do you? Seize the moment, please.